What's going on guys? Hope you all are doing great. In this video right here, we'll be creating our API key. But how we do that is we need to first create our account with Google Cloud Platform. And when we do that, what we need to do next is we need to create a billing account because Google have changed the way they did things. If you check my previous videos, I'll leave cards for that. You can see that you could create an API key without actually having a billing account. The only difference is that you would have this weird message on your map. This is for only developer purposes. But Google Maps have changed. Now it's different. For you to create an API key, you need to create your Google Cloud Platform account. After that, what you need to do is you need to create a billing account. Just for you to know, the billing account is free. You actually get a $300 free trial. And even after the free trial, you get some reoccurring 200 monthly credits. All you need to know is that if you're using this for low scale projects, this is completely free. If you're using it on the other hand for really high scale projects where you're getting a lot of traffic, you will be billed probably. But even that, it really has to be very high. So you know what? I'm gonna show you how to do everything and set up your API key. We'll actually put it on the project that I'll be releasing tomorrow or next tomorrow. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you can get a notification when I release that project so you know how to create your own API key and actually enjoy what Google Map has for you because Really, I'm creating a series on this. There is so much you can do with Google Map Platform. It's an amazing place. So many cool projects that you can add to your website. So you know what? Let's get started. Now in the description below, you'll see a link that will take you to where I am right now. It's going to take you to the developers.google.com slash maps. When you get here, it should be exactly identical to what I have right here. All you need to do next is you need to click on get started. Now, when you click on get started, the only difference with mine is that I already have my account linked to my Google Cloud platform. So I wasn't asked, oh, place your username or put your password. In your case, if it's the first time, you will have to put your username and your password to actually make sure that your Google account can be linked to the Google Cloud Platform. After doing that, that should be very easy because everyone has a Google account. If you don't, I don't know where you've been, but if you don't create a Google account and then you can actually link that Google account to Google Cloud Platform. If you've done all that, you should actually have your web page looking identical to mine. The only difference is that you wouldn't have this recent projects right here because this is the first time you're doing it. I already have this account. So yeah, I already had different projects there. What we need to do next is we need to create a project. The way we create a new project is we click on this, select a project. You click on that. Now that we've done that, in your case, you will not have this first projects right here because you do not have any projects. This is the first time you're using Google Cloud Platform. What we need to do next is we need to create a new project. So we click right here. As its name, I'm going to put second project. And we'll click on create. So what happens is you can see I canceled it and it took me out of the Google Cloud Platform. But what we'll do right here is we'll just click on get started again. And you understand why, because I don't want to create another new project. I already have the project I have. So it was asking me to create a new project, which I don't need to do. Now, what I can just do is I can create a billing account for this second project. So we click right here on billing account. And it's asking you for your country. You put your country. I live in Spain, so I put Spain there. You also click on the whole. You can read this if you want to. This is all the terms and conditions. After that, we we'll click on continue. It asks for your phone number. Click on continue. Make sure the phone number is the same as yours. After that, what we need to do is we need to actually put the credit card stuff. So we need to put our credit card to make sure that we actually start our free trial. And as I said earlier, this is completely free. Only if you're using it for high scale, high traffic or high volume of traffic projects, that's when you might be billed. But for now, you can see we get a 300 credit for free. We also get multiple credits per month. Now you can see right here now we have our billing account. 
the primary goal of signing up you just say i'm here to explore to check or compare website evaluation i'm here to build whatever i'll just put explore they ask another question what industry are you in you put whatever industry you are on can put telecommunication continue what are the most popular cases of the industry select which one you want to learn about so you talk about the different uses of google map and you can see for business listing indoor map routes planner so there's so many things you can do driving behavior fraud detection so many location intelligence trip planning so we'll click on that too and just say I'm self-employed. How many people in your organization? And we submit that. I can see now we have our API key. So I know it took a lot, but this is the only time you have to go through all this. Now that you have your billing account, it's going to be very easy. The next time it's going to be so much easier. And I'll show you how to do this if you already have a billing account. And yes, guys, now we have our API key. What I'm just going to do right here is I'm going to copy this API key right here. And what we'll do with it is we'll take it to the project, which I'll be creating in the next days. So we'll use this API key to actually make sure that our map shows up and make sure that it's working. Now that we have our API key, what I want us to do is I want us to go to our project and the project. Click on the HTML page. You can see right here that we have the API key that we need to put right here. This is the API key I used before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to re replace it with our new API key. So I just highlight the whole from, you can see right here, we have key equals to, and then I highlight it to the and right here, which is this symbol right here. And I erase it. So from here, I'm going to paste my API key. And you can see it's totally different. I'll save this project. Now that I've saved it, I'm going to right click on our index.html and click on open with live server. Click OK. And you can see that we have our map working out perfectly. This is the project that I'll be creating in the next day or two. Let me just show you what it does. I can put London right here. And Paris. And I'll choose the mode of travel. In this case, I really like the transit. And you can see right here that it actually shows us the way to get from London to Paris. And it's also showing us the mode of transportation. In our case, we can get there with this Eurostar, which is a train, or we can get there through, I'm not going to pronounce that, I think it's Thames Link. Thames Link. This is also probably a bus mode. I'm going to show you how to create this from scratch. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep your heads up for this video but hopefully right now you understand how to create an api key but before i finish this let me show you how to create another project with an api key in a different way where you don't have to create a billing account because right now you already have your billing account so we'll get back to our google platform so we get back to our google cloud platform now we're back at our google cloud platform we click right here which is where you select your projects and we want a new project so we click on new project we'll call this third project and i know the names i'm giving for this project are very i don't know very easy but it's just so i don't have to think about it too much so third project we we'll click on create and now you can see that we do not need to actually connect it to anything because we already have our billing account and you can see that our project is working out perfectly to make sure you're on your dashboard you click on this navigation menu click on home and click on dashboard so you can see that we're actually on our dashboard what we need to do next is you can see here it says you can see right here that it says search products and resources what we want to search for is our credential so we just put credential right here or just put in creed we get a uh, autocomplete and you click on this credentials right here finally we're on our credentials what we need to do next is we need to click on create credential and click on it right here 
and what kind of credential do we want to create an API key so we click on the API key now it's creating it for us and we have our API key if you want to restrict this key for maybe some website or some other HTTP or HTTPS you can do that but in our case we do not need to do that so all we need to do is copy our API key and close now we have our API key we go back to the project and we place this new API key that we just created you can see we erase it and we can just place paste it why I'm erasing is I want to show you where it starts from and when it ends so it starts from this equal sign right here and it ends at this and symbol right here we save it go back to our project and it says something is wrong with the map and why something is wrong with this map is that this map right here we need to actually enable some libraries now why we're having this is because the first time we created this API key we actually did it with our billing account so all the libraries were already enabled but this second time that we're doing it we don't have the libraries enabled so we need to do that ourselves and the way we do that is right here you can see we have library so you click on library and the first library we're going to enable is JavaScript so I just click on JavaScript right here and you can see maps JavaScript API and we enable that you click on enable it's enabled it the next one we need to do is direction and also here it's showing us that we have additional API's if we want to add in our case we want to add this directions API so I'll click on that and I'll enable that too let's go to our map again reload it and we can see that our map is actually working out well because we've enabled the JavaScript API and we've also enabled the directions API so what I'll do is I'll put London again and we'll put Paris you can see walking with the mode of transportation shows us transit it shows us with the route or the way to get there even driving it shows us the way to get there too so we can see that this is working out perfectly because we've enabled our libraries we enable the direction API which actually makes it able for us to get the direction from London to Paris and we've enabled the JavaScript API which allows us to use JavaScript which is the programming language we're using for this project to make all this possible and you can also see that we do not have any watermarks showing us only for developer purposes so this is a clean and perfect map that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it and you've learned everything and you understand how to actually create Google map how to create your API key how to make sure you enable the different libraries you will need for your Google map project if you enjoyed it and learned from this video leave a like because I'll be releasing way more videos and it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm comment down below if you have any questions and that's it for this video I'm gonna wrap this up and I'll see you all on the next one